North and Northwest Lincoln, they're some of the fastest growing areas for voter turnout in the capital city. With the recent influx of polling stations in areas like the Highlands and Fallbrook, the controlled chaos of election night continues to expand for Lancaster County Election Commissioner Dave Shively. Usually about six to seven weeks out, we will bring in some additional staff, and, and depending on the type of election and what we anticipate or our absentee or early voting is going to be, we'll bring in anywhere from five to maybe 15 additional staff members. Most of it is going to be dealing with um, early voting or absentee voting, helping prepare uh, the ballots and get the envelopes ready and get them. On the actual election night, Shively staff sticks to a process that's proven. It keeps the voting counting moving smoothly. There are supplies that they need to drop off in this area here. It's usually their ballots and their sign-in registers and that type of thing are, are here. And it goes through a process where they're in boxes that get opened up. Um, everything gets verified to make sure everything's matching up. It goes all the way back to the back area here. Ballots are actually then placed into what we call a jogger, which shakes the ballots and gets any like static electricity out of them. and and gets them all straight and even, and so they can go on to our counting machines at this time. But this is our counting room, uh, and I have two board workers of different polit or two uh, scanner operators of different political party affiliations working each 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 machine. And one person goes out, gets the ballots. They they run them through the machine. When they get done with that, the other person takes them out into our warehouse. On that night, this area is kind of roped off, and and uh, uh, the box they're getting. Uh, Boxed up. The scores of ballot boxes and portable voting booths are returned from some of the election office's busiest stations, like churches and schools. After the election is called, voting booths and ballot boxes return to the warehouse shelves to wait for the next election cycle. For NewsNet Nebraska, I'm Grant Musil.